My name is Jacqueline Bush and I am an editorial and celebrity hairstylist. My clientele has included Faith Hill, Mark Ruffalo, Terrence Howard, Gwyneth Paltrow, Jane Krakowski. I want to be able to show you that hair isn't as intimidating or as hard as you think it is and I want you to be able to have fun with it and do what your vision is with your hair. I'm going to show you today how to curl long hair. The first thing I'm going to talk to you about are irons. I love these irons because they get really hot and they silk the hair very easily. And what I mean when I use the term silking is that just like silk, it's very smooth and soft. That's what you want the hair to do. You don't necessarily want it to be super, super soft, but you want it to look soft. So we are going to curl Monica's hair today. The kind of iron I have, the handle twists. Now, when you go to the store, you're not gonna get the one with the twisty handle because if you've never used it before, it, it feels very difficult. Um, but now I'm so used to it, it works for me. So what you're gonna do to curl the hair, I'm gonna show you two different methods. We always start out by silking the hair, which is just opening the, the tongs and taking that iron straight down the hair. This makes the hair hot enough to receive the curl. Now, the section size you use is all up to you. You can use a large section, you can use a small section. That depends on how tight you want the curl. So I'm silking it. Now the first method you can do is closing the tongs. You can curl up to the root. This gives more of a ringlet style. I always like to leave my ends a little out because if they're if you put them all the way through, to me I don't really like that look. I think it looks very dated. So I like to leave my ends out a little bit. Now another way to do the same kind of curl is taking that section, silking the hair, starting at the bottom. Remember I said I left my end out and I'm just curling up to the root. Let that hold for a second till the hair gets nice and hot. Then I can take it out. See how I've left my end out? See how it's a little straight? I can just curl that little bit at the end, not leave it on for too long. Now the other method I'm gonna teach you is taking your same section of hair. You're gonna silk the hair. Now, with the tongs closed, you're gonna wrap the hair around the full iron closed. Hold that till the hair gets hot. Let's say 10 seconds, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, that's good. You get a different kind of curl. We'll do one more so you guys can really see. Don't be afraid to hold the iron, to hold the curl on the iron, because if the curl's not hot enough, you won't get that nice strong curl, which actually could be nice. It all depends on how curly you want the hair. So I'm holding it. If your hair is resistant to holding a curl, you'll want to hold it for longer. Now Monica, can you turn towards the side for me? As you can see, there are two different kinds of curl. There's this kind of curl, and there's this kind of curl. Both give a different effect. Let's just shake it out a little. You can see the difference between the two. I actually like to mix up when I curl the hair, I like to mix up both of these kind of curls because then you get a less uniform, more natural look. And that's how you curl hair.